The Classic Film Festival, so this is our very first event, I think, from uh, from a stand start. It's, uh, it's been an immense, immensely successful. I think the benefits are, are uh, enormous, not only to the locality, but I think for the industry itself. I think to, in your first year, to have someone like Rory Flynn, Earl Flynn's daughter, to have someone like Susan Barnard, Bernard of Hollywood's daughter, and to have Pat Shamroy Shaw, would, whose father, uh, Leon, uh, was nominated 18 times and had three Oscar wins. Um, that's a huge achievement. It is a huge um, level of support, not just for Maureen O'Hara, but for classic movies. Because I'm Sean Thornton, and I was born in that little cottage over there. And I'm coming home, and home I'm going to stay. Now, does that answer your questions once and for all, you nosy little man? You're a tongue like an adder. I've a good mind to go about my own business and tell Thorne Shorten he's well off without you. Wait a minute. What was that? Well, will you listen then and not be interrupting the shark on the matchmaker? Yeah. Maureen O'Hara herself, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. And no matter how many times you look at it, you can never, ever, ever say you get bored with it. It's beautiful. The chemistry between Maureen O'Hara and John Wayne has really made it, you know. This is just amazing. What I think is great is to, to be able to see the, the movies the way they were meant to be seen, in the dark, on the big screen, with nobody rattling teacups or anything like that. Um, an atmosphere in a room with a crowd of people, uh, a collective experience, I think is hugely important. So right now, Maureen O'Hara has given Ireland a classic film festival, and I want to wish her every success with it. Congratulations. Well, she had the strength of character to become the first ever female president of a U.S. scheduled airline. Maureen will, however, always be most loved for her fiercely passionate roles in classic films, and in particular for the films that she made with her great friend John Wayne. These are classic films in the truest sense of the word. In much the same way that it is easy to forget what it takes to be a lady, it is easy to forget the importance of classic films. Stories are what make us truly human. Stories have the power to unite and have been bringing people together from the dawns of time, from people first set around campfires telling tall tales of heroic deeds. Theatre followed on that great storytelling tradition and movies took up that mantle. We were just interested in the film and um, it was a, a bonus that to, to meet her. <laughs> Actually, yes, I met, met her already yesterday and uh, I went to see her and uh, say some words to her and then her assistant said, oh, no talking, and Maureen looked at me and said, no talking? Oh, that's sad. And so we talked a little bit and uh, we took a picture and today she gave me her autograph and what a great lady. I mean, you can't say any much, but just wonderful. There's a connectivity between the classic movies of old and the movies that are made nowadays, in the very same way that there's a connectivity between the bonding experience of sitting in a dark cinema and watching movie magic unfold in the screen, and sitting around in the dark, watching the magic light of the campfire dance, and come alive as stories are spun about heroes and villains and hunters and dragons. Stories have the power to inform and to engage. They have the power to bring people together. Stories should be celebrated, and the Maureen O'Hara Classic Film Festival gives us all a perfect opportunity to do just that. It is an honour to be associated with Maureen, and it is a huge honour to be associated with her film festival. And it will be an honour to watch classic films with you all during the week. Thank you all, and enjoy the films. Pray for my soul. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. For what are men better than sheep or goats who nourish a blind life within the brain if, knowing God, they lift not hands of prayer both for themselves and those who call them friend? For so the whole round earth is every way bound about the feet 